Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray, positioned here on the commentary gantry and sitting next to me, ready to give you all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And what we have on the menu for you is live coverage of the Eredivisie. It's head and vein and they take on PSV. The initial 11 today for the hosts. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Well, here's how the lineup looks for PSV. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. <laughs> Ali. A very timely interception. Luc de Jong. Well, at first glance, you would think a strong possibility of a red card. Let's see. And the early shower. This is going to be a real test of their metal. Well, it's a straight red and rightly so. But how will they replace him? They've got to reorganise now. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Must take the lead here. Oh, but he's missed it. How on earth is this still level? Well, I just don't know, Derek. Just a real lack of composure in the end. They should be ahead now. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. Can he put it away? There it is. Down to ten men, but don't wipe them off just yet. The opening goal, 1-0. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. Hazard. Will he finish? Well, decent save there. Well, they're going for the short one. The delivery. Not really the ideal clearance. Hazard. And now Romaglio. That's a routine take. And the keeper not thinking it through. In it goes! And I'll tell you what, the goalkeeper is wishing quite simply he hadn't done that. Well, let's have another look, because this is a goal they have thoroughly deserved. They've played really well so far. Anas Tahiri. On the offensive. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Oh, can you believe this? They forged ahead, undeterred by the fact that they're down to 10. This is inspirational stuff. Well, here it is again. He's alive to the situation. He makes good contact with the ball and he keeps it down. That's a nice headed goal. Joey Fairman and he's broken free and it goes the leveller thrilling stuff here well let's see this again this is counter-attacking football at its very best. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. What a good goal. Patrick Van Aanholt. 
Well, three minutes of stoppage time, that's what the officials have said. Tension building, still level. Can they forge ahead? Yes is the answer. And that could be oh so important. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Underway, and that is that. The referee blows his whistle for full time, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, they didn't defend as well as they can, but the forward play was excellent today. In particular, I thought the midfield combination of intricate passing and dynamic running was key to their success. They were certainly worthy winners.